Kylie Jenner edits her photos so much, like she can't even compete with her own beauty standards. Why should everyone else feel like they need to conform to this? Because we don't wanna be like this. We don't wanna be fake. We don't wanna have to face tune our whole face away just because we feel insecure with how we look. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video for you because people love to talk about Kylie Jenner's plastic surgeries, but they don't ever talk about the fact that she still face tunes the out of herself even though she's had so much plastic surgery. Like if Kylie Cosmetics posts a picture of Kylie, Kylie will repost the same picture but like she will facetune it and I'm like bruh, you make it too easy for us to put it all together. So get ready to pay close attention, grab a snack and wash it down with some hot tea. In no way, shape, or form is this video trying to shame plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery or even facetuning because I've done all of the above, but I have to say that like when you've had so much plastic surgery and you're still face tuning the hell out of yourself and you are the most famous like female alive, you have social responsibility. A lot of people are looking up to you and when her followers, especially young girls, see photos of Kylie Jenner and they're like, wait, this is what I'm supposed to look like. It's very um confusing and hard for people to understand that that's not actually how she even looks like. Even with all the plastic surgery, she still has to face tune everything to look like this online and no one should ever have to feel like they need to look like this. Kylie Jenner even before Facetune is still a beautiful person. I don't know why she has to Facetune herself but let's just get right into it. I'm pulling all these receipts from an account called Exposing Kylie Jenner. They're awesome so go follow them but in this first picture you can see it's just a picture of Kylie all glammed up on the left and then a photo of her looking out and about on the right and I have to say she definitely looks different but like also same like I'm just out and about and I have my glasses on I look completely different. Um, um, here you can really see that she does have a more wide face in person but whenever she face tunes herself she likes to really snatch up that jaw which I totally get because everyone wants that but like your face is more round Kylie you don't have this diamond shaped head like you're trying to face tune yourself to have okay so these are the posts I'm hyped to talk about so recently Kylie's been posting Met Gala photos because they're not having the Met this year because of the whole virus situation you can't say the c word on youtube or they will remove your video anyways she's editing her met gala looks and i'm just like bruh like we can look these up online like the originals and easily compare them you can see that in this photo she's like snatched the waist um she changed her face shape her chin her lips it's really about that waist though i'm like girl you went right in that's at least eight pounds she edited it all this one's not as easy to see but you can tell that she's still editing her waist a little bit um i'm trying to look at what else did she do she definitely oh she raised that eyebrow okay kylie i don't know why she needs to edit it in the first place it looked amazing like why bruh donatella she up donatella in this one she smoothed her the hell out she made Donatella's arm go skinny, she took away all the veins, she made herself even more skinny, and I'm just like, you're already so skinny and your body shape is already like giving everyone anxiety and depression, like why make yourself even more skinny on Facetune and just make us want to kill ourselves? It's weird because she obviously posted this on her story, but she still took the time to go edit her waist. It makes me think like, does she have someone that she like asks them to go edit her waist. She also edited that hairline. She brought that hairline down a little bit. So I guess Kylie is a little bit insecure about her forehead, which same. This one, I can't even tell what's going on. Did she lighten herself or darken herself? I'm pretty sure she lightened her shoulder area. Maybe she was a little bit too dark compared to Kendall, but wow, like this, shoulder edit is so much that I can't even see what else she edited. Honestly, this face edit disappoints me just because you can see what she's done and I'm like, girl, again, why don't you just go buy that? Like, why do you have to edit? Like, it doesn't really change that much. Like, I don't look at the photo and be like, oh, what a drastic difference. It's just impossible beauty standards that not even Kylie Jenner can reach. Again, Kylie Jenner lightened up her chest in this one and she also lightened up her forehead. So I don't know if her tan was a little bit too dark for the Met Gala, but skin tone changing going on over here. It's just not that serious again. On the left hand side you can see there's no dimension to her face. It's super smooth. Actually she really looks like Kim here but on the right side you can see Kylie looks like she's got definition. I mean when you are filling your face with all of those fillers and plumpers you're gonna have a lot of like contrast. Like it's gonna be sticking out, poking out, Blech, all over the place so like she's gonna have shadows and gonna be some harsh lines because of all this filler in the one photo you can see she got rid of all of that okay this one's pretty rough so you can just see it's at like the same angle which i love because you can really compare the two 
but her eyebrows are completely different. So that's all makeup right there. Her eyes look way more like complete round and circular compared to her makeup eye that looks more wide and long. Um, lip actually looks quite the same, just not painted. But you can see her chin is definitely not as prominent and neither is her jaw. I mean, this looks like a girl without makeup and you can't expect her to be perfect, but I'm just letting her know that she can't expect us to be perfect, especially if she's face tuning everything. Like you've got more money than anyone else in the world. Like why can't you like go fix it? You actually have to still face tune. Like at this point, will you ever be happy with how you look? Whoa, this one, <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't even want to say anything because I'm not going to say anything nice, but the one on the right girl, if you showed me that, I would not say that's Kylie Jenner. Like that's not Kylie Jenner. The one on the left, though, I can see it. Oh, <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Yeah, again, she's got more of a wide face, but when she edits it, it's like she gets rid of all this cheek. All that is gone, and it goes straight up diamond. Diamond-shaped head, diamond-shaped rock. Here's a little snippet of her body. You can see she does have a little bit of a tummy, but also in the right photo, she's probably just like walking around breathing like normal. In the left photo, she's obviously not breathing at all and sucking in for dear life. You know the Kardashians and all these Instagram influencers are always selling shapewear. Well, I just want to show you guys that shapewear can really change how you look. So you can see Kylie is in all these shapewear pictures, which she probably already edited. You can see she looks, I mean, slim here, but she also looks like young. Maybe this is an old photo. Um, again, she's got some shapewear on here, shapewear on there, shapewear on here. You can clearly tell when she has shapewear on and when she doesn't because it really does snatch her waist by at least four, five, six inches. Like that's a major difference right up here. And I have to say how uncomfortable and you could even see in the left photo, she looks very uncomfortable. Like I said, people always talk about her plastic surgeries. So let's just talk about them for a second. And I want to say from 2014 to 2019, she looks like a completely different person. And I have to wonder like what the mental health impact of that is to change yourself so much physically and have so much surgery at such a young age. Like it's got to have some mental health implications. Here you can see she's had a boob job, and honestly her arm looks very toned, so go Kylie. This account claims that she had her boob job literally right after doing the whole Christina Aguilera outfit, which you can see her boobs look completely different four days later, but I'm like, wait, what in the recovery? Like she must have been having some celery juice, all the um, vitamins and everything, because four days later she's walking around like, <laughs> this one I think is so funny because like Travis Scott, I'm just the whole robe situation is, I don't even want to talk about it, but like why does she have to edit Travis's arm like that? Like could he not have done a few extra like bicep curls? Like was it because his arm is actually skinnier than her arm here? <laughs> I just find that kind of cringe that she went out of her way to edit her man's arm. Like I hope Travis doesn't know that because I think he would feel a little bit like insecure. In this photo, she made her lips even more bigger than she ever needed to do. I don't know how this account got this picture, but supposedly she lightened the bottom of her feet, which I'm like, thank you, because if you're gonna have some dirty feet, do not post them on Instagram. Go ahead and lighten them with Facetune. That's just a PSA. This instance is funny because you can see that the couch was also morphed with her waist because she wanted to get that arch in her back, so she gave the couch a little bit of a Hell at the same time, and it's just another poor facetune fail. This picture doesn't even look like Kylie to me, but she edited her nose supposedly, and I'm like, what? I mean, this girl doesn't even look like Kylie to me. In her Puma advertisements, she was snatching up her waist, which is kind of sad because like people are supposed to be like body positive right now, and like you're already skinny. You don't need to make yourself even more skinny. Like Kylie Jenner just could be a normal person. Like she doesn't need to be this completely fake all the time woman like she could actually break down sometimes and like show some type of emotion or raw side to her but when you grow up in a family like that do you even have emotions anymore in this photo she took out her whole tricep like she just lost the complete muscle again she's editing her waist and making her butt look bigger and i just don't understand why she would take the photo that's already posted by puma and then edit it even more and post it herself like it just doesn't really make sense to me if the photo's already out there. Like, there's no point. Again, I find it crazy that she will let her makeup artist post a photo of her and then she will repost it herself, but then will facetune it. Like, she'll act like it never 
looked like that. Like, girl, this was posted by your makeup artist. People can obviously tell that you went and edited yourself. And she edited her tricep. She removed her spine. So I guess she's spineless now. Here is some more Kylie Jenner versus real life. And I have to say, I love videos because you can't edit a video like you can a photo. You can see on the left, she looks like a whole other person than the person on the right. She's just got more round features, but when she edits herself, they're a lot more sharp, which I just don't know how she does that. Like, did she take her editor and move her eyes like a little tighter? Does she make her chin a little longer? In the photo on the left, she made her nose a lot smaller, her lips even bigger. This photo, I don't even know why it's included because like, look at the, is that even her in the other photo? Like, please don't tell me that's her. These are the worst ones because it's like your makeup company posted this photo and now you're gonna go ahead and post it yourself and edit it. Like, why don't you tell your makeup company to edit it? Like, that just seems like it's defeating the purpose. And why'd you edit your head so small but you left Jordan's big? Shady. In this photo, you can see Kylie Jenner has a couple of scars right um, below her bra line and those scars actually look like liposuction scars and she is looking very snatched in that photo just to show you guys that's what liposuction scars look like and it really does look like she has those right up on her stomach. Again, on a magazine cover, you're gonna go and edit yourself. Like this magazine was printed, Kylie, and sent off to people in the world. You can't, like, this doesn't undo it. Like, you popping out your lip a little more isn't going to make that much of a difference. It's just gonna make us just think you look insecure and desperate. Why is this picture in every single one of these posts? But again, I think she was just having a really bad day that day because she does look very rough. It looks like her face just, like, wasn't, I don't know. The filler, I think, just looks really uneven here. And maybe that's why, because you can see in that photo, like, she's got kind of a line right here. Like, does she have bags under her eyes? But it doesn't really look like that because it's so low. So I'm thinking something with the filler and the shadow's just not hitting it right. That's all I have for you guys today. And I really just want you guys to take away from this video that you don't need to facetune every single part of yourself, especially if you've had, like, work done or you look really good. Like, if you look good in the photo, just post it. You don't have to go and do the extra face tuning because we don't really care and it's not really gonna make that much of a difference. You are who you are at the end of the day and no matter how many filters you put on yourself, people are gonna see that and see through. So just be true to yourself and don't feel like you need to conform to Kylie Jenner beauty standards or Kardashian beauty standards because they're unrealistic and even they can't achieve their own beauty standards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my other videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.